Welcome to the television broadcast of the Grace Chapel AME Church. For the next 60 minutes, tune in and enjoy the best in singing, preaching, praying, and teaching God's Word. This program is dedicated especially to those who are sick, shed in, prison bound, or just can't get to church. Come on in and join us Monday through Wednesday, 9 to 10 a.m. mornings, 3 to 4 afternoons, and 9 to 10 p.m. nights. Sit back and enjoy yourselves. Hope you like it. God bless you all. You can also see our full-length sermons and videos. Just log on to our official website, gracechapelamechurch.org. Thank you. Welcome to the Outreach Ministry of the Grace Chapel AME Church, located at 1575 Air Cobra Trestle Road, off Highway 11 at Interstate 20, where the Reverend C.F. Stembridge Sr. is pastor. Now, let's go in and meet the pastor. Bless 
bereaved families everywhere. Bless our family, Heavenly Father, yes. right yes. in the hour of bereavement. Yes. Yes. Bless Marvin, Heavenly Father, our damn sister Natalie, yes. which have lost his wife, Heavenly Father, in the flesh. Yes. Well, let his mind be stayed on you. Oh, yes. please. Lift him up, Heavenly Father. Yes, sir. Prop him up on every leaning side. Oh, yeah. Up to the Let him know right now the earth has no sorrow. Yes. That heaven cannot heal. Yes. We all got to go that way sooner or later. Yes. But while we're down, yes, sir. Yes, sir. keep us in peace and harmony. Yes, yes. Help us continue, Heavenly Father, to feed the sick. Yes. yes. Oh, Heavenly Father, feed the hungry yes. and help heal the sick. Yes. Help us, Heavenly Father, give those that don't have nowhere to stay. Yes. Help us to find yes. shelter yes. for them. Yes. Yes, sir. Let us be like Jesus did. Uh -huh. As he went out, Heavenly Father, he sat among the sinners. Huh. Even though the Pharisees got upset with well, him. Well. Oh, Heavenly Father, went to Zacchaeus' house. They got upset with him. Yes. So he was going to eat dinner with a sinner. Huh. But when he went in there, Heavenly Father, Lord. Zacchaeus found out, Heavenly Father, that Jesus blessed his whole household. Yes. Yes. Oh, Heavenly Father, bless our household here at Grace Chapel. Yes. Yes. Let us know, Heavenly Father, may be a few him. Yes. But your Holy Spirit is him. Yes. Help us to realize, Heavenly Father, we must go on in spite of all that goes with us. Yes, sir. Going on in our hearts. We ask you, Heavenly Father, keep our hearts and minds stable. Yes, yes. yes sir. Yes. Bless our pastor. Yes. Yes. Let him down and join you. Yes. 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 Bless us, Stem Bridge, Heavenly Father. Yes. Thank you for bringing them back to the fold. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Yes, bring them back to this sheepfold. Yes. yes, sir. For the shepherd is happy and all of us are happy. Yes. 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 Bless yes. each auxiliary of this yes. church. Yes. Oh, help the Father yes. bless yes. the means of this church. Oh, yes. Bless the pastors of this church. Yes. Bless the wives of this church. Yes. Bless the in Church. Yes, sir. Not only this church, but bless churches everywhere. Oh, yeah. Under your name. Yes, sir. Oh, to God, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being so good to us. You didn't have to bring us back this morning, but you brought us back. Yes, sir. One more time, and we thank you. Could have been gone on. Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We see yeah, yeah. each other smiling face. Oh, yeah. Let this service continue to go on in your name. Mm -hmm. Let it be in the Holy Spirit yes. all the way through. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you. As we go through our sickness. Yes. yes. Thank you, Heavenly Father. You heal us our body. Oh, yes. yes. yes oh, Heavenly Father. Thank you for continuing to regulate our mind. Yes. yes. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you. Thank you for it all. When it's all said and done, yes. we'll be gone and ask my out of the way. Yes. Can't go no further. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 Most of all, Jesus would be there. Yes, 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 yes. And all we would have to do is to sit at his feet and be blessed forever and ever yes, and ever more. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In Jesus' name we Jesus name. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name we Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Meyer, and that's enough to let you we'll hear from my very own Reverend Charlie Frank Stembridge. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Say amen again. Amen. It's just something about coming to church. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sometimes you might feel a little down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But when you hear a song like this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. If you don't want to go, well, well. get out of my way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got to make it to the finish line. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Thank you for that song. Oh, yeah. That first song, I said, Lord, help me to hold out. Yeah, Lord, have mercy. We need those songs today. Yes. Help us to go on in the name of the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was thinking my wife was going to take it easy today. <laughs> but she just told me, you can't help me. <laughs> Get out of the way. <laughs> Amen, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Praise time. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> they had your Bible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you had a mind to hold that love the Lord. Mm -hmm. Don't let nothing stop them or hold them back. Remember, right. Chapman was saying in the <laughs> office this morning that sometimes you get up on Sunday morning. Don't feel like it or some kind of hold you back. Uh -huh. But when you come to church, brother man, right. forget about all of those ill and ain't willing to try to hold you back. Amen. I say it all in to say that brother Charles Green didn't feel too good. Amen. Mm -hmm. Tell it. I told him to take it easy. But you see it like that song said, you can't help me. <laughs> I'm gonna stay in the house. Get out of his way. <laughs> this founders day week, our founders month by church. We'll dedicate our son to our founding bishop, Bishop Richard Allen today. And along with some of you that hear this song, you might say he's talking about me too. Alright. You didn't have your Bible today. The book of 1 King, the 19th chapter, you'll find our message. All right. 1 King, the 19th chapter, next week on your fair time, go home and reread that 19th chapter. Mm -hmm. 1 King, the 19th chapter, begin at verse number 1. Amen. You'll find these readings. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done. All right. Mm -hmm. And with her how he had slain all the prophets with a sword. Mm -hmm. Then Jezebel sent a message to Elijah saying, So let the God do to me, and more also, if I make not thy life as the life of the one right. of them by tomorrow about this time. Yeah. <laughs> Jezebel wrote him a letter saying tomorrow about their time. This time. My do to you. What you did to uh, the prophet. Verse number three. When he saw that, yes, sir. Elijah rose and went for his life. Yes, he did. And came to be a sheep which belonged to Judah and left his servant there. But he himself went a day journey into the wilderness. All right. He came to sit down in a Jupiter tree, and he requested for himself that he might die. Yes, he and said, it is enough now. O Lord, take away my life, for I am not better than my father. Right. Fifth verse, and as he lay and slept under the Jupiter, Jupiter tree, mm -hmm. behold, then the angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. And eat. Fold in the fifth verse, you'll find our message for today. Talking about Elijah. He himself went a day journey into the wilderness. Came and sat down on the Jennifer tree, and he requested himself that he might die. They're pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Son of the pretty bad. Yes, sir. Well, well. Beverly Hills, something got a hold on. 
that he might die. And say, it is enough. Oh Lord, take away my life, for I am not better than my father. That fifth verse, and as he laid and slept under that Jupiter tree, behold, then an angel touched him and said unto him, Arise and eat. I want to talk for a little while today. You don't have to feel sorry for yourself. It's all right. Think about it for a moment. You don't have to feel sorry for yourself. Yes, sir. Get up and go over. All right. All right. Yes, yes. All right. I sum today found in the book of First King, the 19th chapter. Uh -huh. I take it, take it from the first five verses. When we look at our take today, we find it's, a, it's all about a prophet named Elijah. Elijah. Elijah was known as the greatest prophet of the Old Testament. Yes, he was. Brother Matter, he was able to do what no other yes, prophet was able to do. Yes, yes. But when we look here in our text, First King, the 19th chapter, 45 verse, we find Elijah was at the lowest moment in his life. Yes, we find that Elijah was sitting there feeling sorry for himself. Mm -hmm. Probably Elijah was feeling sorry for himself because something had happened. Amen. He had run away from this wicked, deceitful, sinful woman named Jezebel. Jezebel, Jezebel was the wife of King Ahab. King Ahab was a wicked king of Israel. Right. Reason why that Elijah was feeling bad because he had to work before run away from this wicked king called Ahab. Yes, sir. Amen. If he hadn't ran, Ahab was going to kill him. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So here we find him and our tech running again away from Jezebel. <laughs> Elijah was running from Jezebel because Something had happened. Amen. All right. Cain Ahab had went home and told Jezebel everything that Elijah had done. All right. Right. And what you told him that Elijah had what he had done to all of the Baal prophets. Mm -hmm. How he had killed them with a sword. That's right. Then Jezebel went to her room, sat down, and wrote him a hot, deadly letter. All right. The letter was well written, like the letter that Sister Brown right with a well written pen right. Oh. <laughs> to make sure that Elijah was going to know what the letter meant. <laughs> look what, look what Jezebel said in the letter. Oh. May the gods strike me dead if by tomorrow oh, Elijah I don't do to you that what you did to all of the bad prophets. Amen. Amen. My Bible said when Elijah received and read that letter, he jumped up and ran for life. Yes, he did. Yes. During the time of the Bible, the prophet always have a, a servant or a helper to walk along with him. So as Elijah began to run, the Bible said that the servant took our running boat with Elijah. Mm -hmm. And as I look over here and amen, Kona, and I know it's going in here, but Every now and then you hear men walking around both to how big and bad they are. Amen. All right. I ain't got let no I ain't got run from no woman. Well, well, I got news for you. You let the right woman get behind you. Then you'll be just like Eli. Elijah made all the way to a place called Beersheba. Beersheba way down on the low end of Judea. Him and his servant went all the way down to Beersheba. And when he got there, Elijah was still shaking. And my Bible said he wouldn't stay there. He told the servant, you stay here. But Elijah went out and walked the whole day in the wilderness. And men, you can go a long ways in a walk in a day's time. That's right. He walked all day to the evening. He saw a jungle tree and wanted to 
Step down under the tree. Yes, yes, sir. Amen. The gentleman tree was a really looking tree that had a bunch of leaves and, and br branches on it, had beautiful flowers, and it had seeds, and there was a shade tree for Elijah. Yes. Yes. Right. Right. Oh, he had walked out there all day long and <laughs> sat there. He was all by right. himself. Yeah. That's right. And I want to tell you today, you can get mighty lonely when you're right. hanging around by yourself. <laughs> it ain't too good to be by yourself too long. All right. Right. Elijah under the shade tree all by himself, and he thought feeling sorry for himself. Yeah. Before he was there, look what he said, sitting there, I just wish I would die. Uh -huh. Out there by himself, he ain't had nobody else to talk to. You know how it is sometimes when you start feeling bad for yourself, sorry for yourself, going through the change it down and out, you want to talk to somebody. Oh, yeah. Elijah right. looked around, Brother Walker, he was sitting under the tree all by oh, himself. Yes, Didn't have nobody to talk to. Oh, but Elijah said, he said he had talked to somebody. Oh, yeah. He met around there and started talking to God. He wanted God to feel sorry for him. Yes, sir. Look what Elijah said to God. He said, Lord, it's too much. I didn't have it. Oh, Lord, take away my life. I might as well be dead. Yeah. Right. Elijah forgot about who you were talking to. Amen. To God, ain't like mankind. Yeah. Now, when you just having to, some happen that you got to go through some sorry, don't pay up mankind. Well, well. Man, don't care how sorry you feel. Matter of fact, if you tell mankind them down and out, they get him more to talk about. But when you get down and out, learn how to talk to God. Oh yeah. That's why I want to tell you today when you get down and out, you, you ain't got to feel sorry for yourself. The matter of fact, the law won't even let you feel sorry for yourself. Elijah went to God, tried to talk all that stuff to God, tried to ask the Lord to feel sorry for him. God wouldn't feel sorry for Elijah. Read the word God went through the call. Look who Elijah was. That's right. Elijah was a prophet. Right. Elijah was a man of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. God don't want none of his children walking around feeling sorry for themselves. Matter of fact, in these daytime, even right now, 2019, God still don't want none of his children walking around feeling sorry for themselves. He won't let you stay feeling sorry no how we ever here too long. See, they start feeling sorry too long, you'll never get out of feeling sorry. Elijah thought the Lord was gonna let him feel sorry for him. Just because he is feeling sorry for his sister. All right. Well, 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 well. Y'all yeah, be careful when you get around somebody always crying out, I saw you feel. They feel so much better if you can just be a sorry with them. Well, all right. Do what uh, the Lord, do what Elijah thought God was going to do. <laughs> but now let me tell you something else about sorrow. Certain things happen in life, we'll bring on sorrow. Oh, yes. Sickness will bring sorrow. Yeah. Oh, death will bring on sorrow. Yeah. Sometimes when you have a hard time in love and marriage, ship, they bring on sorrow. Yes, sir. But even though it bring on sorrow, don't let that sorrow get you down. Yeah. You ain't got to worry about walking around here feeling sorry because something had happened in sorrow. Look at Elijah here. He 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 back feeling sorry when he was jumping a tree, but he had forgotten who he was. Mm -hmm. Elijah had forgotten all of the good things yeah. he had done. Yeah. Well, 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 well. He had forgotten about he was a man of God. He forgot about all of the things he done working for God. Yes, yeah, sir. Elijah gonna let one little something he heard call him to feel sorry. Yeah. Well, Chapter, all you say, God, don't let no one something you hear. All right. Yes. 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 
the lean be a little wicked woman Jezebel that will call him to run and be a sorry for his sin. Yes. 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 Yes.
God. Whichever God ends up back in heaven or then came, that's the one we all want to serve. Everybody agree about that because they're saying, when we get them down, my come all the 450 bear, we're going to make that one little man look bad. One of them built the altar. Then Elijah said, well, Y'all go first. All right, all right. 450 bear probably wouldn't even hit noise all on the mountain. All right. But old big bear they never moved and broke, blew out no fire. Yeah. They put all the day and everything was here the same. Yeah. But then Elijah said, now yes, it's my sir. time. Yes. I better say that again now. Yes. 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 It's my time. Yes. When the devil been messing with you and kicking you around and you, you ain't hurt nowhere, when you get tired, you tell him now, it's my time. My time. My kicks are back back. Yes, sir. Let me call on my God. My God. Reverend Chapter 89, then we got to call on our God. Sometimes we got to call on him for somebody else. Somebody say they're moaning about the people coming to church. Don't worry about it. Just keep on calling on our God. Come in, but sometimes we can't. So look at the, he said, Now let me call on my God. My God. Yeah. He lied to call on his God and show sure nothing. God sneezed and fire came down from him. Yeah. But the altar and everything around it, and all of the bear what you said, look what they have. We're going to run for our lives. Yeah. <laughs> but Elijah said, You can run, but you can't hide. Yeah. Well, Elijah and his men went down to oh. kill all.
told Jezebel everything that Elijah had to do. Well, well, well. Told her, said, three years ago, that joker came to me and said he was going to shut up heaven. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's why I was so dry around here. He did it. Up, then I heard he was fed by the bird that we were scared of called Raven. Oh. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then he Preach stopped it. by the winter house and somebody said he raised up a child from the dead. Yes, he did. And then he did something on Mount Mount Cumbers. Cumbers. Yes. He then called in a fire from heaven and he then killed all of <laughs> the 450 yes. that made a prophet. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, she sir. told the king, so you just said enough yes. right here. Uh -huh. She wrote a letter down to Elijah. Yeah, yeah. Told him by the time tomorrow, if you ain't gone, I'm gonna do to you the same thing that you uh -huh. did to the prophet. Yeah. Remember here, can you see Lightning and got scared and yeah, got scared. walked the whole day jump. <laughs> Step down under a tree. <laughs> when they got there, he was tired, Sister Teresa. <laughs> he had been running, oh, he had been man. walking. Yeah. He tired. Sat down and went to sleep. Got a good sleep rest. Yes, sir. Still feeling sorry for himself. Mm -hmm. But oh, God always somewhere around. Yes, yes, yes. Sitting an angel down there and angel touched him and said, Elijah, get up. Get up. Get up and eat. He got a bit red, sleep eyes, and saw food and ate. Went back to sleep. He had to come again to Elijah, get up and eat again. You got a long way to go. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Can't you see God trying to keep him from feeling sorry for himself? Yes, sir. Yes. Long God around you, you ain't gonna feel sorry for, you for yourself. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Last time he ate, Brother Matty, he had to walk yes, 40 days and 40 nights mm -hmm. without food. Well. Walked all the way to a place called Mount Sinai. Uh -huh. When he got to the mountain, Mount Saturday night, he saw a cave, went in and went to sleep. Amen. Left all night long. Uh -huh. He wanted to get the next morning and thought he felt sorry for himself. Well, yeah. well, well. Anytime you want to feel sorry for yourself, you want to start running from, just running from, just running from. <laughs> everywhere you run, you'll feel sorry for yourself. Yeah. Yes, sir. But everywhere he would go, God sent an angel right there. Yes. In the cave, he woke up that morning, the angel said, what you doing here? Uh -uh. He went a little further, the angel said, what you doing here? Uh -huh. Can you see God trying to stop him from running? Yes. Yes. sorry for himself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got to leave you now, but you know the rest of the story. You know what happened to Elijah, don't you? Yes. He had an amazing end. Yes. yes, sir. The same man that stood there and said, enough is enough. Yeah. Wow. Same man that stood there and said, take my life. Uh -huh. yes, God decided that he wouldn't take his life, but yeah. he let him went on a little further. Well, well. But Elijah had came down to the end of his journey. Well. Yeah. Find out he couldn't go no further. Yeah. Reverend Hill, when he had got his finger yeah. straight, he was getting ready to go back home to be with the Lord. Yes. Uh -huh. Elijah had what found the man that going to see him called Elisha. Yes. Uh -huh. Elijah and Elisha brought Matthew went down to the joint. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Down to the joint, they were getting ready to cross over home the other oh, side. Yes. But when they got into the joint, the joint was muddy and the river was running mighty wide. Uh -huh. And got down there, Elijah couldn't cross over to the other side. Yes. Reverend Hill, he had to go on to the other side. Yes, sir. But the Jordan River were mean and they couldn't crawl the Jordan River. Yes. I heard Brother Matty say that one of his prayers that when I get down there to the Jordan, yes. let it be a calm time. Yes, Elijah needed to cross over on to the other side. Yes. Elijah took off the mantle that he had around his shirt, yes. wrapped it up, and then stuck it down in the water. Yes. And when they stuck it in the water, they tell me the Jordan stood still. Yes. I heard a song one time. Jordan, and let a child go home. Mm -hmm. Elijah and Elijah stepped down on dry land. Yeah. And we're going there to the other side. Yeah. I wonder why he want to go there to the other side. Yeah. I either hear Brother Mike Bank always come out going to the other side. 
I couldn't understand why he wanted to go to the other side. Till I read this story here in the Bible. The reason why he wanted to go to the other side because when you get ready to go home, you got to go on to the other side. You can't go home on this side. When you get to the other side, everything gonna be all right. When you get to the other side, you build up every bad thing on this side. I see Elijah and Elijah there walking there, standing there on the other side. Elijah told Elijah, said, I've been going home in a minute. You better tell me what you want. They looked at the saw a chariot coming down with fire. And they saw a horse coming down with fire. They were swinging down to pick up old Elijah. I used to hear Miss Martha K. Hightower saying, Swing low the quick chariot, coming to carry me home. When it came down for him, when they picked up Elijah, they took him on home. I thought about it today, the day I ain't got time to feel sorry for myself. But I know that one of these old days, one of these old days, one of these old days, my preaching time gonna be over. One of these old days, my praying time gonna be over. I'm going home to be with the Lord, but I gotta get to the other side. When I get to the other side for a minute, everything will be all right. On the other side, I heard from the hills and love wanna be waiting for. When you go through your sickness, go through your disappointment, when you go through your down and out, don't feel sorry for yourself. Keep a positive. Two minutes now, I'm finna sit down, finna sorry for the self. Go on, get up and talk to God. Elijah, but man, by being a prophet, he knew God, but he was running and feeling sorry. But somehow or another, his spirit told him to talk to God. Great chap, all you are here today to come to church Sunday after Sunday. When you hear a snag in your life, it's all right to tell a friend they want to cry about chapel, but your friend might say them tell somebody else. But you tell God. And God gonna do to you Jackie like did Elijah. Yes. He's gonna send an angel by you for him. Until you get up yes. and go on about your business. Wow. Elijah got up, walked across the joy. And what I like about him, he went home and then he even see death. Yes. He didn't see death. Yes. I probably would have to see death if Christ don't mean came first. Yeah. Right. But if I see death, I don't have to worry about such a check because Jesus already in the book of death. Yeah. And I ain't worried about that. Yeah. When I get to that river, brother, yeah. say I'm still going to go call Joe. Because it's going to be a calm time. Then we all stand now. Before you throw it, somebody throw us singing, don't let no gesture bear. Yeah. Or no other kind of bear. <laughs> Make you go to the dark and feel sorry for yourself. Amen. Talk to God because we're serving the mighty God. What well, y'all got on your, on your, the saying is all right with me. This is Black History Month. Children